Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today I'm gonna go over oil and natural gas, uh, look at their technical chart patterns. I know we're kind of at, we'll say, like a almost a breakout with oil. It's getting really close. Uh, I'm hoping that we can break here and, and, and have a little fun ride in front of us. Uh, again, this is just my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. Uh, but here we go. This is oil and natural gas. It's one of my favorite sectors. And I'm going to throw a little bit of solar at the end of it. So here's the downtrend line in oil. Uh, we did break to the upside of it. We did a little back test here. And we're starting to come back up. Again, I don't know the necessary path this thing's going to take. If it's going to come back down again. If we're just going to rock it higher. I'm not claiming to know that. So, but we have broken the downtrend, it back tested, and we're starting to come back up. That's the positive thing that I want to touch on. Natural gas is doing very well. Uh, we broke this downtrend line, it's rocketing higher. Uh, again, I don't want to say that I know the path necessarily of how this thing's going to play out, if it's just going to continue to rocket higher, if it's going to pull back and do a retest, back test. But it's doing very well. It broke its downtrend line. And that's basically the first stage uh, of moving higher. SM Energy, uh, oil and natural gas company, it's got a lot of leverage or debt. Uh, when I say leverage, it's usually a high debt company. We've broken its downtrend line. And basically, it's mimicking what oil's doing. Uh, if oil goes up, this thing's pretty leveraged to oil. Uh, I would say that this entire detour of a move, of COVID and whatnot, uh, we're basically back to a little bit above of where it would be if we didn't have COVID. So it's still an incredible value here uh, for a long-term hold. Uh, Centennial Development, again, this thing got absolutely smoked to the downside, came up. Uh, I liked it all through here, and I still like it up here. It does look like we're contracting a little bit. We might have to pull down a little bit before moving up, but either way, uh, it almost looks like a shoulder, head, shoulder developing. We'll see what happens. Callum Petroleum is another one. I'm kind of looking at these from a little bit longer, bigger picture view. Shoulder, kind of a double head. Shoulder, maybe plopping out here. Uh, and then hopefully we can break through and, and leave the $50 area. But that one looks good. Uh, Reconnaissance Energy Africa, looking at it from a little bit, you know, the weekly view. And sometimes you want to look at the weekly view instead of just dailies, give you a little bit bigger, bigger uh, picture view of it. It's been moving on up, pulled back. It looks like it's coming on up here recently. So this one looks pretty good and hopefully it can hold its, its uptrend line here. Uh, SM Energy, just looking at it from a little bit different perspective and zoomed in a little bit. You could see that move there on the weekly. Shot higher here, some sideways movement. Struggling a little bit here to move on up. Uh, I don't know if we have another kind of flush down before moving up, but uh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, Tetra Technologies, looking at it from a weekly perspective, came down, came back. This is where I got it at like 50 cents, and then moving on up. And I'm just holding on, but it looks okay. Uh, Comstock Resources on the weekly perspective, it broke its downtrend pattern type downtrend pattern thing uh it's been rocking it rocketing higher it may come back and back test or retest this line before moving on up or maybe not but uh this this looks really good uh birch cliff energy another one i own you can kind of see this v bottom as it's starting to rocket higher it looks pretty good i like the big up days and small down days that's a very good trait for an uptrend move uh, crew energy exhibits the same thing big up days small down days all through here it's looking pretty good a little bit of a pullback and we may pull back a little more but it, it looks good here uh now looking at solar this is part of the energy group it's a little bit different look i've got these arrows here we do have a lot of down uh bearish engulfing bearish engulfing bearish engulfing Watch out for a downside move here. If we go down, I'm going to have to sell out of my position here. Uh, I don't have the confidence in solar yet, uh, but I know that they're going to throw a lot of money at it. It did look like this is a almost like a fifth wave that was going to come up here and move higher. So I'm still in it. I'm still holding on. But if we break to the downside here, I'm probably going to 
be chickened out <laughs> just because I'm a, I, I got cabbage hands on the, on the solar fund. Uh, but I'm seeing that same type of sell-off trait still developing. I'm, I'm looking for, for some buyers to step in. It does look like the, the volume's stepping down. So I'm still in it. I'm just waiting for some buyers to step in. I'm even here. I mean, it looks like it's coming to a dead period and about to go. So we'll see what happens. Here's SOL. Again, I'm looking for a move up. But if this thing gets smoked to the downside, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm waiting. And Sun Power's got that same type of pattern developing. Hopefully it doesn't drop out, but move higher. So that's what I've got, you know, for the for the day here. Um, I do like the the oil and natural gas. Will it go up in the short term? I mean, if oil breaks, I think we're going to see some some good moves. If oil doesn't break, then we've got some more consolidation in front of us. Again, I, I'm not here to I'm not trading these things. I'm I'm an investor. I still think they're of, of incredible value. Uh, I think some years out, we could hit some problems. Uh, and prices could go kind of crazy. Uh, maybe that doesn't happen. Maybe maybe it gets mitigated somehow. Uh, but overall, I like where the risk reward is uh, in all these sectors. I also think that the commodity sector in general is really firming up, uh, breaking down trends, moving higher, uh, and that that gets me excited. Uh, so again, short term, this thing can go either way. But uh, long term, I'm I'm a bull. If you guys like this content, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.